Hey guys, got a pretty cool lock to show off today. Uh, it's in a format I don't see that often, but I think it's pretty cool and very useful. It's uh, called a dumbbell lock or a barbell lock for obvious reasons. Uh, it's it's type of heavy duty, uh, very tough lock uh, to resist physical attacks. This lock has a kind of interesting soccer theme going on, which I enjoy very much. It's also got a cool keyway that I will explain in the next section. Later on, I'll even try to pick it for you. All right, you guys. Uh, first thing I want to talk about is the core used on this thing. I call this the starfish core or the asterisk core, but the official name is the judo core uh, or the judo five-way core uh, for obvious reasons because it has, it has five arms. On each arm, there are three, it, th there's a row of three pins, so it's going to be 15 pins total. Let's focus in on the key here if we can. Uh, you can see there's a bidding all around the key. So yeah, the security of this lock lies in, not it doesn't have any security pins, uh, but it just lies in the number of pins that it has. Let's, let's operate this lock, and you can see how it works. We'll turn the core here, and then this end will come off, right? So we'll put that there so it doesn't roll away. You'll see the locking dog is right here on the end, so when I turn the key, the locking dog retracts, and I can take the, the other end off. And so what I want to show you now is, uh, so the core is, is pretty cool, pretty interesting core, but the, the main feature of this lock is just how heavy duty and hefty it is. This thing um, altogether was 1.2 kilos, and that's 2.6 pounds. So it is, I mean, it really feels like you could use this as like a weapon or something like that, or even a, even a, a real dumbbell, you know, it has some weight to it. So it, it would be a nightmare to try to hit this or pry this off. Um, and it would take you a bunch of time to even cut this off. I mean, look, I mean, this shackle or the bar is 20 millimeters thick of hardened steel. So really, the main feature of this lock is uh, to protect against physical attacks. And I, I really think it does a good job. And if you were to hold it, you would really feel like this is a, a strong, sturdy lock. Uh, the way this end is kept on is that there is a, if you can see, there's like a little lip on the inside here. And what will happen is that'll push that locking dog down right there. And then once it passes that lip, it'll pop up again. And then you can't, um, you know, uh, remove the other end. So, I mean, it's not like you would try to shim this anyways, but you couldn't even if you tried because you could only come from this angle here. And if you come from this angle, that's not going to push it down. You'd have to come from behind to push it down. So yeah, that's, I guess that's another cool feature. Uh, so, uh, yeah, you'd use this lock for a couple applications. You could, anything that'll fit in between the two spheres, uh, in this, in this case, soccer balls is going to be locked up, whether it's door handles, you could stick it through a hasp, a chain. Uh, and this one is big enough. This one's big enough to stick through the, the, your motorbike tires to even prevent someone from driving away on your motorbike. Uh, I know I've seen other dumbbell locks before, but uh, not quite as big as this because this thing is uh, the, you know, the shackle is 20 millimeters thick, which is quite thick. And the, the, um, the bar length uh, from end to end is 75 millimeters. The, I know Avis makes a lock like this, but it's quite a bit smaller. I think it was only the shackle being only 12 millimeters uh, thick and the length only being 22. So it'd be quite a bit smaller, much lighter than this. Uh, so I think that's pretty cool. It's, it's kind of like a, uh, a giant version or a, like the big brother of those Abus style locks. Uh, except this one has a cool core, uh, much different. The Abus locks just use a, just a normal tubular style keyway and key. But, uh, yeah. Let's, in the next section, I'm going to talk about security 
and see how we can get past this law because I know we're not going to spend all that time and energy trying to cut this off or hit it off. So we're going to have to go back to our roots and do some picking. All right, guys, to pick this lock, uh, it can be a little bit frustrating at times because you're going to have to do a lot of checking. You know, you're going to be going around this several times to see what's binding, what you set. And if you overset something, it takes you time to realize it because, uh, yeah, you'll just keep going around because you're you, just to be sure you've overset something. So although it doesn't have security pins, it can be a pain to pick this at times. Uh, just because of the the number of pins and how many times you have to go around. You also need a couple different tension wrenches because uh, you have to switch the tension on the arms, and I'll, and I'll show you that. So uh, let's take the end off because I don't make it easier. Hold on a sec. Okay. So hopefully I can pick this on camera for you in a relatively reasonable time. And that's why I'm going to use this rake because uh, you can single pin pick this thing. I'm just trying to shorten the time for you because there are so many pins. So I'm going to try to hit as many as possible here. So let's zoom in. Right, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to start on this arm and just gently rake up and down gently and then I'm just gonna kind of like push in almost like I'm picking uh, just because the pins can bind quite hard so it's just gonna be like a raking and then I'm gonna check by pressing in so here's a, a more raking and then I'm gonna check by pressing in and then the top I'm gonna do some raking and then I'm gonna check by pressing in just do one more go just to make sure, because you just you're, you're there's so many that you lose track. You want to make sure you got everything before you switch the tension. So let's see. It seems like something's binding there. All right. So don't do that. <laughs> Lost the tension. Let's try that again. Real fast. Yeah. So there. Okay. Something set there. Switch over. Feels like something set there. Push down, anything up here, nothing. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna switch the tension to this arm here, let this one fall out, and then check the arm that the tension wrench was just in. So, there you go. I feel like something set there. The switch, so we're just gonna keep going around. And then you have to, it's not just not all gentle. You have to press a little bit hard just in case the raking force isn't enough. But like I said, you can... There you go. You heard that, right? So gen gentle raking wasn't enough. I had to give it a little bit of force. So there, okay. I felt a little turn on the core, so I know we're making progress here. Um, there, I felt another turn on the core, making progress. Check up top. Hopefully, I didn't overset that. Um, sorry, the angle's a bit weird with the camera. There you go. Got it right there. Let me turn the. You can see the core turning, right? I don't have the the end on, but you could see that the. Where is it? The locking dog is now down. So yeah, that's the most efficient way you're gonna pick this lock. Um, I, I have single pin picked it, but I just didn't want to make the video too long. So yeah, there you go. Uh, the Judo 5-way core heavy-duty dumbbell lock.